again, Mark here from TalkingBass.net. This week, I'm going to take a look at probably the most common scale in general rock and pop use. I know what you're thinking, and no, it's not the good old major scale. It's the E minor pentatonic scale. All the sheet music and tab for this lesson can be downloaded from TalkingBass.net, so just follow the link in the info below. And while you're there, check out the lesson map and you'll find all the other video lessons set out in a neat, categorised order for ease of navigation. Then, if that floats your boat, you can subscribe for free to gain access to a whole other load of bass resources like the ebooks, courses and a forum. So, uh, go check it out. So, to begin with, let's just go through the pattern that we're going to be looking at and then I'll expand on it a little and give you a few riffs and licks using that scale. So this is a two octave E minor pentatonic scale and there's many, many different ways you can play this scale but I'm going to look at one particular one that can work, in, uh, that can work really well with bass lines and fills and things like that and it's a very common fingering. So we begin with the open E string then we move up to the G, A and B Okay, so that's the frets 3, 5, and 7 on the E string, okay? So, open string, G, A, B. Then, we move up onto the A string and we play the D and the E, so that's the frets 5 and 7, okay? So, all together we have open E string, 3, 5, 7, and then 5, 7 on the A string. Then, we repeat the pattern from the G an octave higher. So on the D string we then have G, A, B, so that's the frets 5, 7, 9, and then we move up onto the G string and play the D and the E, which are frets 7 and 9, okay? So from the bottom we have open E string, 3, 5, 7, G, A, B, then we have 5 and 7 on the, um, on the A string, so that's D and E, then D string, 5, 7, 9, so that's G, A, B, and then 7 and 9 on the G string, D to E, okay? So we have two different ways that we can play this scale because of the position shifts. The first way, we just come up, open E, then we play the G with the first finger, index finger, then we play the A with the fourth finger, or pinky, and then we slide up or position shift up to the B. So we use the pinky to move up. Okay, then we can just come up, D, E, using first finger, fourth finger, index finger, pinky. Then first finger or index finger for the G again. Once again, we use the pinky or fourth finger to uh, play the A and then slide up again. And then we're up to the D at the top, first finger, and then fourth finger, pinky, for the E, okay? So, of course, if, you, if, you're, if you've got a really weak pinky or fourth finger, you could use the third finger, the uh, ring finger. Although, I tend to use the fourth finger because it's just a lot neater. Okay, so that's the first way. The second way of playing this is with exactly the same frets, but we use the first finger, the index finger, to shift. So we can play open E, then the G, and then we shift up to the A. And then we're free to play the pinky again for the, uh, for the B there, come on up through there. Then we get to the G on the D string, and then we shift with the first finger again. Okay, so... So that's the two different ways of playing it. You can shift with the pinky, or you can shift with the first finger. I tend to use the pinky uh, for when I'm coming up through this. It just feels more natural for me. And when you're playing a lot of, uh, there's a lot of different bass lines that actually do use that, that kind of slide there. So uh, it's a little bit more conducive to playing some of the kind of bass lines or fills that you might get. As well as playing up through the scale, we need to play it back down through the scale. So, once we've reached up to the E, we just come back down through the pattern, and I usually use the first finger for descending. So, I use the pinky for ascending, and then the first finger for descending. So, as I come down, E, D, B, A, slide down with the first finger, down to the G, fourth finger, first finger, fourth finger, first finger, slide down to the G and then the open uh, open E string. So, up and down. Okay. 
So you just want to try playing up and down through that scale pattern until you've got it under your fingers. So the E minor pentatonic scale is probably the most popular scale in all of rock music. This is pretty much because the key of E minor is so popular. E is the lowest note on a regular tuned guitar, so players think of it as being heavier and having more chug, you know. And the minor key gives more of a darker, sadder sound. So that all contributes to conveying the most popular emotions in modern life, depression, angst and murderous rage. Most riffs don't outline the entire scale, but you'll find that they do use the main keynotes like the flattened seventh degree and little run-ups through the little fragments that are in there like... You know, little parts like that. Paranoid by Black Sabbath is a really good example. And Whole Lot of Love by Led Zeppelin is another good example. So we're bo both of those riffs, they're both using that little fragment of the scale there. But the scale isn't only limited to rock and metal. It's used in pretty much every style of music and is especially popular in slapped bass lines, like Love Games by Level 42. The minor pentatonic scale is a type of minor scale that misses out the risky second and sixth degrees. Because those notes are missing, we don't have to worry about any extra modal implications or clashes with the chord. The scale also has a very memorable visual appearance on the fretboard, and it's really, really easy to play. So I'll just give you a few riffs and licks to work on that should help with getting it under your fingers. Once you've nailed the scale in E, you can also move it easily to A using that open string, and then you can also start to move it to other popular keys like G and C. So the first riff that we're going to look at sounds like this. So the riff starts on an open E string, we have that three times with this rhythm. Then we move to the G third fret of the E string. Okay. Then we play the A, the fifth fret of the E string with the fourth finger, the pinky, and we slide that up to the B. And then we play the D, fifth fret of the A string. So very slowly we have... Okay, so open E, G, play the G again to lead into the A, and then we slide with the pinky on the A to the B, so that's the 5th fret to the 7th fret, and then play the D at the 5th fret of the A string. Then we finally play a hammer-on from the D to the E, 5th fret to the 7th fret of the A string, and then we play the G, 5th fret of the D string. Okay, so remember all of this is written in the uh, tab and sheet music that you can download from TalkingBass.net. So if you have any problems with this, just download that and work through it. So very slowly we have... And that's the first part of the riff. The second part of the riff is very similar. We start on the open E string and then move up to the G again. But then we play the open E again to bring us round. And then we come down on the E 7th fret of the A string, down to the D 5th fret of the A string, and then down to the B 7th fret of the E string. Okay, so we've got that rhythm there. So we have... And then we just come down A, G, so 5th fret, 3rd fret, and then we're back at the E. So... And you can hear there, I'm putting a little shake on that G. You don't have to do that, but it just gives you a little bit of that, uh, a little bit of that wobble. So, all together, the riff sounds like this. Okay? 
So just play that riff round and round until you get it under your fingers and you can play it up to speed. So uh, let's just try it a little quicker. One, two, three, four. So that riff makes use of all the stereotypical E minor pentatonic characteristics, all the kind of stuff that you get in a standard rock bass line or fills. And one of the little things that we've got in there that, uh, that you'll hear a lot in a lot of rock bass lines and a lot of rock fills especially, is this little skip rhythm that we've got. And it, it sounds like this. Okay, so we, we get the rhythm in that bass line, we've got... Baba dum, baba dum. That little skip, you hear it a lot in uh, fills by people like Geddy Lee, John Entwistle. You get this kind of effect. Dicka dum bum bum, dicka dum bum bum. And you'll hear that a lot. So let's have a look at a couple of fills that we can uh, learn and some, uh, some runs that use that little skip. The first fill we're going to look at sounds like this. Okay, so. Very slowly, we have this. So we have that. Um, we have those little skips in there again. So I'll just run through it. We start on the uh, the E there at the uh, seventh fret of the A string, and we come down to the D and then the B. So that's the little skip. So E D B. So seven five on the A string and then seven on the E string. That's frets. So. So that's the move you want to get used to. And I always find that this helps if you start on the first finger of the picking hand. So you've got first finger, second finger, first finger. It's a lot easier than coming back onto your second finger. So you want to start slow, and then just build up speed. And that's a very, very, very common move, okay? So that's the first part. Then we jump up to the G, fifth fret of the D string. So, then we play the same little skip pattern again, E, D, B, so, and then just come down A and the G, so 5th fret, 3rd fret on the E string. So, all together, very slowly, okay, so that's the fill. So you want to start slowly and then just build up speed. And... Okay, so you can hear there when I'm playing, you know, you really have to build up speed with that skip. But it becomes all one action, really, just like a, a flick of the fingers. Okay? So let's try integrating that into a very basic bass line. So all we're going to do is take a pedal bass line, a standard rock pedal, just of open E. You know, just playing, plodding eighth notes there. And we'll play... Uh, a four bar pattern, so we're going to play three bars of that and then put our fill in. So, very slowly we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you want to play round and round those four bars until you've got it under your fingers. And uh, I'd advise you to start, uh, start the pedal with the first finger. That way you can move smoothly into the fill. If you do actually start with the second finger, then you might need a tiny little gap just before the, uh, just before the fill to give you uh, time to move up smoothly. So if we start on the first finger of the, uh, of the uh, picking hand for the, uh, for the riff, we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. Okay, so you can just play round and round on that. So let's have a look at another fill that sounds like this. Okay, so uh, this fill is going to be using that little skip again. Same thing that we 
that we used in the uh, in the last fill. But this time we're starting up at the top, up at the uh, high E there, ninth fret of the G string, and we're going to come straight down through that E minor pentatonic scale. So before we try it, let's just try working up and down through the scale uh, one more time. So. Just familiarize, uh, familiarize yourself with that pattern. And um, so now let's work through the fill. So we start on the E, then we work down to the D. So that's the seventh fret of the G string. And then we move on to the B, the uh, ninth fret of the D string. So we have, so there's that little move. Then we play the A and the G. So that's the seventh fret and fifth fret of the D string. And then we play the exact same pattern that we've just played an octave down. So we play E, D, B, and then A, G, and then we're down to the E. So it's very similar to the first fill. It's got the same move as we had at the end there, but we're just repeating it twice from the top. So. Okay, and like I said before, this is all there in the tab and sheet music over at TalkingBass.net. So let's try that very slowly. So two, three, four. Okay, three, four, and. So you can see as I'm descending, I'm using the first finger for the position shift. Okay, then we just build up speed. Two, three, four. And a little quicker, two, three, four. Now let's try integrating that fill into our pedal bass line. But uh, we have a little problem with it because it is quite tough to go from that open E string up to that G. So if you have any problems moving up to that G string, we can use a little preparation. So we'll use this preparation uh, just to make it a little easier. So we can use the A, B, D there just to preempt the fill. So we have A, B, so that seventh fret, ninth fret D string, and then the D, seventh fret of the G string. So this is gonna be on the and of three just before. So we would have one and two and three and four and. Okay, one and two and three and four and. Okay, so now let's try that with the pedal slowly. Two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay. So just play that round and round until you get it under your fingers and then build up some speed. So let's try it a little quicker. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and three and two and three. Okay, so now let's try it a little quicker. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. And one, two and three and four. And one and two and three. Pentatonic fills come in all shapes and sizes and they often incorporate little sequences and other types of lines. So here's another little pentatonic run coming down in straight 16th notes. Okay. This run starts up at the high E there, ninth fret of the G string, and it comes down through the uh, through the pentatonic scale. So we come down three notes there, E, D, B. So we have ninth fret, seventh fret, and then the ninth fret on the D string. Then we move back up to the D, seventh fret of the G string, and then just come straight down through the scale. Okay, so that's E, D, B, D, B, A, G. So it's a group of three, and then one, two, three, four. So a group of three and then a group of four. So that's the first part to get down. And you, for the fingering of it, you can use either the, uh, the pinky to start with or the third finger, the uh, ring finger to start with. Okay. 
Once we've come down to that G, we move back up to the A, so we come up one note and we play a little group of three coming down. So we have A, G, E, okay? So 7th fret, 5th fret D string, 7th fret A string. So connecting that to the first line. And then we move back up to the G, 5th fret of the D string, and then we just come down through the remaining notes of the scale. So that's G, E, D, B, A, G. And then we're back down to the E. So, 5th fret uh, D string, 7th fret, 5th fret A string, 7th fret, 5th fret, 3rd fret E string, okay? And as always, this is all there in the lesson material. So, very slowly through the whole thing. Okay, so start out slow with it and then just gradually build up speed. Oops, I added on an extra bit there. Okay, so you just start out slow and then just gradually build up speed. Earlier I mentioned how the E minor pentatonic scale is used a lot in slap bass grooves. So finally, let's have a look at a little slap riff and it's going to sound like this. So the first part of the riff is that really popular slap move that sounds like this. So very slowly. So we have open E string, slapped, twice. Then we bring the hand down with the muted slap. Then we slap the ghost note afterwards, so we keep the hand down. So that's the first move. Then we play the D uh, seventh fret of the G string, and then the E ninth fret of the uh, G string. So, and up to speed. The next part of the riff has a little hammer on from the D to the E there on the A string, 5th fret to the 7th fret. So we slap the first note and then hammer on. Then we have a ghost note, so we slap the ghost note there, so put the hand into a ghost note position. Then we pop the G, 5th fret of the D string. And then we slap the E, 7th fret of the A string. So as we build up speed, okay, so when we put that together with the first part, two, three, four, two, three, four. So you can see how all these notes in here are all taken from that E minor pentatonic scale. So we started with the open E obviously, then we've got those two notes up the top, then we come down the octave, again D and E, that flat seven to the, uh, to the root note, and then we've got that minor third in there, and back. The second bar starts almost identical to the first in that we have that little move, but then we drop down to the A, 5th fret of the E string, and hammer on to the B, 7th fret of the E string, okay? Then we have two ghost notes, slapped and popped. So you just put that hand laid lightly across there, and then we just slap and pop. So I'm slapping and popping on the E string and the G string, okay? So then after that we have the D to the E, hammer on, 5th fret to the 7th fret on the A string. So that move there. Okay, and if you put that together with the first move. And build up a bit of speed. 
Okay, so you begin slowly. And then eventually. Okay, now let's try putting those two bars together. One, two, three, four. So that's the first two bars. The third bar is just a repeat of the first bar. Okay, and then the final bar, the fourth bar, sounds like this. Okay, so we're working up G, A and B with octaves. But there's a few more ghost notes in there. So let's break it down. So we have open E to begin with and then we hammer on to the G. Then we slap, and then pop the octave. And that's a very popular slap pop move. So you, you wanna start slowly, until you get used to that action, and then just build up speed. Okay, and like I said, that's a very popular move. So. It's open E string, hammer onto the G, slap the G, and pop the G at the octave. Then we have two ghost notes. So we just, as soon as we've played the octave, we put the hand into that home position that, uh, that I always talk about, and uh, just get those two ghost notes. E string and D string, okay? Then we have exactly the same move again, but we do this, uh, but we use it on the um, A octave. So we start with the open E again, hammer on the A there, fifth fret of the E string, slap it, and then pop the octave at the uh, seventh fret of the D string, okay? And then once again, two ghost notes. So all together so far. And then finally, open E string again, and then we hammer on the B this time, 7th fret of the E string, slap the B, and then pop the octave again. So we're just working up in octaves, but putting some ghost notes in between. So... Okay. And that's that bar. So, here's the riff all together. So, that should help with some ideas regarding how to use that E minor pentatonic scale. Remember to download the sheet music and tab from TalkingBass.net and check out some of the other resources on the site while you're there. Okay, I'll see you later.